Hey guys, my name is Steve and I'm with Tronix Fix and today we're going to be talking about um, the Xbox One, the Xbox One S and the PS4 and how much heat they generate. So we're going to do some heat tests on them and see which one runs cooler, which one runs hotter and uh, give you guys a good idea of which ones run the coolest. Um, but before that, I do want to announce the winner of our Forza Horizons 2 giveaway. Um, the name is Abbas Hussein and just did a random comment picker this morning and that's the comment that came up so please contact me on my youtube or on facebook or on our website tronixfix.com so um, for these tests what i'm going to use is a infrared uh, temperature reader and then also, while we're doing these temperature tests, I'm also gonna see how loud they run. Um, so I have a decibel meter here, and we're gonna see which ones run the coolest and the quietest. So let's get started. Okay, as you can see on this chart behind me, we've got um, several different categories here. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna measure the temperature at idle and also how loud it is at idle. So basically we're just gonna start these consoles up um, and just let them sit there for a couple minutes, uh, let the temperature equalize, and then we're gonna measure the temperature and how loud they are. Um, so after we measure that, we're gonna measure the temperature while we're playing a game, and then also the noise level while we're playing a game. So those are the two things we're gonna measure in this test, and um, we're gonna be using an IR uh, temperature reader. Now this is fairly accurate, but it's gonna be sometimes hard to get a totally correct temperature because I'm gonna be measuring from the outside of the cases. If I was gonna get um, really the best measurement, you could probably put a probe down in like right next to the APU or really close to it. And that's gonna give you a little better reading. Um, but I think for today's test, I think we're gonna get a fairly accurate idea of which one of these is gonna run cooler and quieter just using the tools we have here. Now this uh, decibel meter, I haven't actually used it yet. I just got it in the mail. I kind of messed around with it a little bit. So I'm gonna see how it works. You know, I don't know how accurate it is. It's supposedly fairly accurate, but you never know with these things. So we're gonna take a look and just see which one is cooler and quieter. So I'm just gonna turn them all on and then let them warm up a little bit here. And then we'll see which one uh, runs cooler. Now this one has a game disc in it. I'm gonna take the game disc out, as does this one over here. So it's kinda of hard to do this backwards. Let's get all the game discs out. We don't wanna have any false readings uh, of heat or noise from the game discs. So um, this one is the 1215 model. So that's the current newest model. This is the Xbox One S, the newest Xbox, and this is just the regular Xbox console. So this will give you an idea of which one of these is gonna run the coolest. So we'll let them start up and get started here and um, see which one, then we'll do the measurements after that. Um, I do wanna thank you guys um, for my last video um, about the Xbox One S and the game giveaway contest. Uh, I had a lot of content, con I had a lot of comments and there's about 866 comments. So those all counted as entries. If you commented more than once, uh, we probably just deleted the rest of the comments just to kind of keep it fair for everybody. We don't want people comment spam spamming and you know, putting in a whole bunch of comments just to try and win the game. So we did remove a bunch of comments uh, that were duplicates. And so we tried to keep it as fair as we could. Obviously this kind of sort of contest, you know, people can get away with cheating, but we, we did our best. And um, so I just want to thank you guys for uh, a fun contest. You know, we'll do more of those. Let me know what kind of games you want to see. Let me know if you want to see anything else. You know, we may be able to give away some controllers at some point. Um, so just let me know what you guys think. And now we're gonna go ahead and get these uh, measurements taken. They've been started for not very long, 30 seconds to a minute. So I'm gonna get my meters turned on here and try them out. Now these do have fresh batteries in them, so that part should be good. I'm gonna move the controllers out of the way for now. So the one thing we want to remember when we're measuring the temperature on these is where the, goes, where the air goes in and where the air goes out. 
On a PS4, there's a more directed airflow. So the airflow comes in from the side and then it goes out through the back. So uh, the airflow comes in, actually I think it's this side. You can feel the air coming in right on this side. The fan pulls the air in and then it pushes it through the heat sink fins and then it pushes it out over the power supply. And that's one of the ways they're supposed to keep the power supply cooler. So on the Xbox One S, the air goes in on this side right here and it feels like both sides and then it comes out on the top. One way we know it comes out on the top is we can take like a, a facial tissue here and we can just put it over it and you can see that it um, pushes it up. So we know that that's where the air comes out of and we can put it on the side here and you can see it kind of sucks it in a little bit. I'll try and move it a little bit so you guys can get a better view. You can see it sucks it in a little bit. Now there's not a lot of pull there, but there is a little bit. So we're gonna see if it does the same here. And you can see that the, the Kleenex does, does uh, we get pushed up a little bit. Let's try it on the side. Pulls it in a little there. Pulls it in more there. So this side of it, it really doesn't pull it in much. Um, but this side, it does pull it in quite a bit. As you can see in there, there are uh, holes through the case right there, so it can pull the air in through there. So the where we're gonna measure on all of these consoles is the outlet of the air. So we're gonna measure here, we're gonna measure here, and we're gonna measure on the back of the PS4. So that's what we're gonna start with first. I'm gonna take my infrared thermometer and I'm just gonna point, I'm gonna point at several areas over here because you can get um, false readings fairly easily depending on where you have it pointed. So. I'm gonna, so right now I'm pointing it basically right at the black fins in the back. I'm gonna do it over several areas here. It's looking like, now I'm gonna read in Fahrenheit. So if you're from you know, a country that uses Celsius, you can just do, do a, uh, go on Google and get a uh, conversion. So it looks like the highest reading we're getting right now is about 86 and a half. There's 187. So we're gonna call that 87 degrees for the PS4. And this is the current newest model. So PS4 temperature at idle, what did I say? 87. 87 degrees and that's Fahrenheit. Okay, the next one we're gonna measure is the Xbox One S. And I'm gonna measure right on the top here. I'm gonna measure kind of straight down through these holes and see what the different readings are that I can get. I'm gonna stand up for this so I can get down in here. We got 78, 79.2. So the hottest reading I'm getting is 79.5. Oh, there was an 80. So we're gonna go ahead and call it 80 degrees for the Xbox One S. 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're gonna measure the output, the outlet air of this Xbox One. I'm gonna try and get it, now these fins are angled on the top here, so I'm gonna try and get readings down through there so I can basically kind of get right on top of the fan. And we're getting a little higher readings on this, looks like 83, 84, 81, it gets hotter towards the front of the console. 88, 89, so... We're getting 89.6 was the hottest so far. We're gonna round that up to 90. So Xbox One at idle, 90 degrees. 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure the decibels. So I'm actually gonna turn this off and turn it back on. And I got it, actually let me leave it off for just a second here. So on this part, I do have to be quiet. Obviously if I'm talking, that's gonna um, mess up the readings. It's just gonna be reading my voice. So what I'm gonna do is I will turn it on 
measure it, and then turn it off. And I'm not going to talk during that time. So here we go, turning it on. Okay, that measurement was 42. So, we're gonna go PS4, decibels at idle, 42. I don't remember the symbol for, the, or the abbreviation for that. I think it may be lowercase d, capital B. Um, it doesn't say on there. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing for the Xbox One S. Okay, that equalized out right about 40. So Xbox One S decibels at idle, 40. Okay, now we're gonna go with the original Xbox One. And that one ended up about 37. So the original Xbox One, 37 decibels. Okay, so now the trickier part is I'm gonna do some measurements while playing a game. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a TV set up here and then we're just gonna turn on one console at a time. And we are gonna re-measure the decibels just with the one console turned on because it is possible that having the other ones turned on may have made the noise readings higher. Um, I'm not completely sure on that. So I'm gonna re-measure it at idle once I get a TV hooked up just with one console at a time going. So I'm gonna get this all set up and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. We have the Xbox, the original Xbox One set up. Uh, we're gonna be playing a little bit of Need for Speed Rivals, uh, just enough to kind of get this heated up a little bit more and see what happens. And then we'll uh, do the measurements again. I'm gonna measure real quick to see what the decibels are just with this. Um, and then we'll get started on inserting the game. Also on a side note, I did a mic check on my last segment and I did notice you can really hear my swallowing noises. So um, I'll try to edit those out, but um, you know, there may be some of those in there um, or maybe I won't, it'll be kind of like a time bomb. You never know quite when it's gonna happen. So no, I really will. I'll try and edit them out, but I may miss some. So sorry about that. Anyways, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and measure the decibel meters right now or the decibels, and then we'll see what it is. See if it matches with our um, previous measurement of 37. Okay, the measurement is about the same. There's a 36 and a half all the way up to almost 37. So we're gonna round it up to 37. Another thing to keep in mind, this is a used console and it has been used for a while. I actually don't know that much about it. I just got it in a wholesale lot we bought for the business here. Um, but I, from, from the sound of it, from what I know what they sound like, it sounds about, about normal. So we're going to assume that it is, but you know, you're the, it, it may vary depending on how old they are and how much they've been used. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do another temperature measurement just to double check our first one to make sure that it's close. And then we're gonna put the game in. Looks like we're getting 90. It has been running longer as well, so that, that's, that may um, also change it. So it looks like the highest reading, I did get a 91, but most of it's about 90, 89 to 90. Okay, and we're right in the range. So at idle, it's 90 degrees. So that, I think, is fairly accurate. So keep in mind, I am no scientist here. You know, I'm doing what makes sense. Obviously, if you want to do it scientifically, it, you would do it differently, but this gives you a general idea. So we're gonna go ahead and get this game inserted. And we'll get the game started up. And 
see how it does on the heat and the noise. I may have to cut away just for a second. It does have to go through its uh, intro here and that, that takes like three minutes. So I may cut away and come right back. We'll see. How many of you guys hate video game intros? Waste of time. I guess maybe like the first time you play a video game, it's kind of cool to see the intro, but then it's just like, let me just play the game now. Signing into EA servers, we all know that can take a while. Your profile does not have correct permissions to access, access like Xbox Live functionality. That's probably because I haven't hooked it up to Xbox One Live. Okay, let's um, get playing here. I haven't played this game forever, and I was never that great at it in the first place. It looks like my controller is um, definitely messed up. I use controllers uh, to test games that usually there's some, something wrong with them because I don't want to use good ones because I can sell the good ones. So I use controllers that there's something wrong with them to test games and play games sometimes. So um, we'll see if this control, if we can play this uh, game with this controller going here. Okay, we're just gonna kind of drive around, try and maybe hit some people, and uh, try and get the game loaded up here and see what the temperature gets up to. Be units. See if we can find this racer over here. Okay, there we go, we got the racer coming. I don't know if we can catch up, but we're gonna try. Someone made a comment about the obnoxious noise of the analog stick, and it's true, it is really annoying. I was re-watching the last video and it's a pretty annoying noise, but um, what am I gonna do about it? You just have to deal with it, I guess. Uh, if I remember right, there's a jump up here we can take. Oh, there we go. Okay. Totally didn't even get close to that racer, so we'll uh, just keep playing around racing here. I don't know how long you guys like to watch this and when you start getting bored, but you know, um, just let me know what you guys think. If you want to see more actual racing in these games, you know, we can do, I can't do more, but I just want to make sure these videos are something you guys find valuable and uh, want to watch. Cause if you guys are just bored, then obviously you're not going to want to watch it. So. Let's run into this car too. Okay, we'll play just a little bit longer and then we'll do a temperature measurement. Okay, there's a racer. Let's go see if we can pull this racer over and when we're done with that, then we'll, uh, Go to the next step here. We can catch up with the guy again. Okay, we're gonna stop there. We're gonna measure the temperature. Okay, we got a 109. Okay, 109 is the highest reading I see there. So the Xbox One, while we're playing, the temperature is 109 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Okay, we got a 109 there. Now I'm going to do the decibel meter. What I'm going to do is turn the TV off, then we can get a better, more accurate decibel reading. Okay, 36. So, 36 while we're playing, which is only one more than when it was when it was just at idle. So. For the Xbox One, idle 90 degrees, playing 109 degrees. Idle for the sound is 37 decibels, and while we're playing, 36 decibels. So that's really, uh, that kind of shows, gives you an idea of the Xbox One. Now we're gonna move on, we're gonna go up to the Xbox One S and see those measurements. Okay, we just started up the Xbox One S and apparently it's in the middle of an update, so we gotta wait just a minute here. Now if you remember from the last video, uh, I had to apply an update before we started it, and it looks like it's already ready for another update. So we're going to let this update finish, and then we'll get right back to you. Okay, after 15 or 20 minutes of the update and then apply, applying the update, we're finally ready to go here. What I'm going to do is do some more measurements on this just to make sure they are correct on our board here, and then we will actually get the game started. So I'm going to do the decimal measurement first. So it's about 40, 41. So Xbox One S, 40 decibels. That's, what we, that's about what we measured before. So we're just gonna keep that the same. I'm gonna do another measurement. Since it has um, done an update and applied, then the temperature may be a little bit different. I don't know, let's, let's check it out here. Okay, we're getting 85. 86 is the highest measurement and it looks like 80 was the measurement when we first were measuring it at idle. So it does look like the update did get it heated up. But we're going to go ahead and play this game for just a few minutes here and see if it gets higher than that. This is going to be Need for Speed Rivals again. And we'll just do the same thing. Just play around with it for a couple minutes and uh, see how warm it gets. Now keep in mind, this Xbox One S and the PS4 that I'm gonna, bit, I'm gonna play next, those have both had the thermal paste replaced. So I do have new, fresh, high quality thermal paste. So keep that in mind when we're doing this. The Xbox, the original Xbox that I had up here, it actually hasn't had the thermal paste replaced. So that may affect the results as well. No, we do not wanna sign in. Come on. Okay, looks like it's gonna go through the whole uh, intro, so I'm gonna skip ahead and skip you guys ahead to when it actually starts. Okay, logged into our game. We're gonna do just a little bit of racing here and uh, then measure the temp temperatures. Keep in mind, this is all with the uh, just the standard cars. I, I haven't played this enough to even get anything, uh, any other cars than what they just start you out with in this game. So this isn't gonna be fast or really even that cool probably, but it'll give us, give us an idea of how hot this thing plays. Now I started this and it was actually one of the missions they wanted me to do, but I didn't actually, uh, do the mission, so. That's why it's giving me time penalties and all that kind of stuff. Okay, we'll just go a little longer here.
Okay, let's do the temperature reading. Okay, we got a 97, we got a 99, we got a 99.9, .9, so we got 100 degrees right there. Let's play just a little bit longer. Let's see if it goes up any more. I think we played the Xbox a little bit longer than we have this so far, so let's see. Maybe we can crash into something else. Yeah, there we go. Can't even crash into cars when I want to. There we go. All right. Oh, there we go. That was a good one. Use my nitro, get caught up to this guy. There we go. Do one more crash and then we'll measure it again. There was a good one. So it looks like 100 degrees is about as hot as this one is getting for us. So Xbox One S, while we're playing, we got 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I'm gonna do next, turn the TV off and then measure the noise level. Okay, noise measures at 40. So we got 40 decibels at idle. We also have 40 decibels while playing. So that didn't really change much there. So that kind of gives you an idea of the Xbox One S. Keep in mind with all of this testing, you know, if you're gonna play for hours on end, it's gonna get hotter and the fan's gonna be louder for most of these things. So just keep that in mind, you know, this is just playing after just, as you see, as you saw, just a couple minutes. So we're gonna call the Xbox One S done. We're gonna get the PS4 1200 series out next and test that one. Okay, this is the 1215 model PS4 at idle. I'm gonna redo the temperature measurements from the back here. Got an 88, an 89, 85, 88. So it looks like 89 was the highest and the PS4 at idle earlier was an 87. So similar, a couple degrees higher now that it's been uh, warmed up a little bit more. I'm gonna redo the decibel meter test as well. Okay, it's right at 40. And before at idle, it was at 42. It's actually a little bit less right now. And so maybe that was because the other consoles were running up here. I don't really know, but it's real similar. So what we're gonna do now, we are gonna play a different game. I don't have the Need for Speed Rivals for this, but I do have Need for Speed Ghost. And so we're going to play that game just a little bit here. Now this one does take a little bit of time to load a lot of times, so I may cut out here and bring you guys back as soon as it's fully loaded. I don't want you to, I don't want you guys to have to sit there and watch it load. So we'll be right back as soon as it's fully loaded. Okay, uh, looks like we got it all fully loaded. We're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of racing here and see how, see how hot and loud it gets. Now I'm gonna predict that this, uh, PS4 is going to be louder and probably hotter than the other two. That's just my guess off my gut feeling of working on, on these so long, but you never know. Maybe I'll be wrong. We'll see. Okay, we're just going to do, uh, we'll just race around here a little bit.
I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead, now that I think about it, why don't we go ahead and do a race that'll get some other cars involved and that'll make it so it should get a little bit hotter. Um, let's go and do one of these hill races here. Okay, here we go. I don't know about you guys, it always gives me this error to stay, or the um, notification to stay with the group and all that kind of thing because you earn more points, but I always end up earning more points when I'm just by myself. Um, maybe that's just because I really stink at this game, but um, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if that's a good strategy or not. Do I really need to stay with the group or do I, should I just keep going by myself? Because I always end up crashing into others or they crash into me and then I just can't do very long drifts because everybody's crashing into each other. It's really hard to see the, the map on this because of the angle of the TV. We'll see if we can see it enough to um, show you guys at least an okay race. I've never been very good at these games, but I don't know. It's still fun to play every once in a while. Okay, we'll just play a little longer and uh, do some good crashes, make sure it's nice and warmed up for us, and then we'll do the measurements. Just a minute here. All right, so we're almost at the checkpoint. Let's just finish this race and then we'll do our measurements. Okay, I'm gonna measure the output air right now. 100, 106, 109, got a 112, 114, 119, 120. Okay, the highest reading was a 120. And let me measure the decibels right now. And the decibels are 44. Okay, I'm gonna get this TV out of the way, let you guys see the full chart, and then we'll just do a quick talk about it, and then um, that's gonna be it for this video. Okay guys, TV's out of the way, so let's take, it, take a look at the numbers. I'll try and get all the way out of the way, so, the PS4 at idle was 87 degrees, playing 120 degrees. Uh, decibel level at idle is 42, and while playing was 44. So I think you can clearly see this chart showing the PS4 does run hotter, at least uh, this PS4, 120 degrees versus the 100 degrees on the Xbox One S and the 109 on the Xbox One. And it also runs a little bit louder as well. 44 decibels while playing versus the Xbox One S, which is at 40, and the Xbox One, which is at 36. It is kind of surprising the Xbox One is a little bit quieter while playing, but I mean, it's six, it's four decibels less. You know, it, it may be just a matter of the way I tested it. It's hard to say for sure. Um, so, I mean, basically we can clearly see the PS4 runs hotter and louder as, as I suspected, as most of you probably suspect, just because that is one thing they're known for. One of the interesting things here is the Xbox One S does seem to run uh, quite a bit cooler than both of these, uh, 109 on the Xbox One and 120 on the PS4. I mean, that's 20 degrees cooler for the Xbox One S. So, and this PS4 has had the thermal paste um, replaced. So it does, it's running Arctic Silver 5, as well as the Xbox One S. It is also running the Arctic Silver 5. The regular Xbox One 
uh, has just the normal factory paste in it. So um, these two are very comparable as far as, you know, the setup, the thermal paste, all of that. So it's going to be interesting to see when the new the two new PS4s come out, we're gonna, we can run the same test and we can see if they're running cooler and quieter or, you know, or how close they are. Um, right now, the Xbox One S definitely is the winner in the temperature category. And we all know the temperature on these consoles is very important with their reliability and how long they last and that sort of thing. So um, it's cool to see the differences. Like I said before, you know, this isn't super scientific, but it does kind of give us a basic general idea of which consoles do run quieter and do run cooler. So thanks so much for watching. Glad you guys could uh, join me here on this Sunday and let me know what other videos you want to see. We've, like I said, we've got lots of videos planned. We're going to tear open the PS4 Neo, the PS4 Slim that's coming out. Um, I do need to upgrade my shop phone from the iPhone 6. I plan on getting the iPhone 7 at some point. Maybe when it first comes out, I don't know yet. I do want to get that nicer camera that I've heard about. I may be able to do a teardown on that if you guys want to see that. So just let me know in the comments what you guys want to see, what you guys want, don't want to see. Um, also, let me know what kind of give giveaways you want to see in the future. We're happy to do some more giveaways for you. Like I said, we can do controllers, games, possibly even a console here and there. Just let me, let, let me know what you guys want to have us give away in the future, and we can make that happen for you. Thanks again, guys, for watching. We've gotten lots of subscribers recently, and I just want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel, checking us out. We're going to bring you lots of great content. So just keep watching. Let us know what you guys want to see, and we'll do our best to make sure you guys get cool videos, things that you're interested in, and bring you guys value. Thanks again for watching.